Hi guys, welcome back to the course. Today we're going to be talking through some easy ad formulas in Excel to help you out when creating your expanded text ads within Google Ads. Um, so here we've got just a breakdown of the requirements, character length, etc. that you'll need when creating your ads moving forward. So you've got headline one, which has a character length of 30. Um, it is required and it basically is where this is going to be where you're most likely to get noticed. So you want to consider including words that people might have entered into the Google search engine to help you boost your relevance within your ad. And you also want to consider your call to actions, etc. within your headline. So you've got three headlines, one, two, and three. They're all 30 characters in length each and headline one and two is required, but headline three is optional. But I would recommend using headline three at all times when possible. Next up, we've got our descriptions. There's two descriptions within your Google Ads expanded text ads, and they both have a character length of 90 each. So just bear that in mind when writing your descriptions about your business. So this is where you're going to highlight as much information as possible about your specific service or product that you supply. And again, you want to try to include call to actions here and USPs to help ensure that the customers click on your ad. Next up, we've got paths. So there's two paths available um, to be applied on expanded text ad. And these are both optional. However, if possible, I would recommend using these. And it's basically just how your display URL is going to be shown. So for example, I might have a path that says PBC learning. And then that would show us slash PBC dash learning for my path one and two. Character limits here are 15 each. And then your final URL, um, make sure that that is in place. And this is where you're going to be directing your customers to when they click on an ad. So just to give you some easy formulas to help in terms of uh, quickness when creating your ads in the future in Excel, and um, we've got a couple of things down here. So we've got character length formulas, which is equal len. And so for example, this is my headline, the formula in use is 19. So if we double click here, you can see this is my headline is exactly 19 characters. So we know the headline's low 30, so we could do add some additional information in here. Um, so this is my headline in CT is 27. That's probably about right for a headline. So anywhere up to 30 for a headline. So this is just to show the formulas in use. Next up, you've got the trim formula. And this is useful to remove space at the beginning or ends of words. So you might have copied some text from a website and they might have copied with um, a space at the front or at the end. But when using the character formula for lengths, um, it will count a space. Um, so if I add a space to the end here, you see that goes up to 20. So it might just be giving you an incorrect number there. So this basically just trims out anything that's either side um, of the words and removes it for you, leaving it as it should be. Uppercase, as you would imagine, makes everything uppercase. So if this is your sentence, I want everything uppercase, the formula will make it look like this. However, just note when creating ads, you will never have your ads in full uppercase because it will be disapproved. Lowercase makes everything lower. So I want everything lowercase as the sentence and the formula makes it look like this. And then a really useful one is going to be the proper formula which is equals proper. And how that works is it makes each capital letter, uh, each, sorry, each word a capital at the beginning. So I want each word to have a capital letter, it turns it into how it looks here. I want each word to have a capital letter. And then the final useful formula will be how many words are in a specific sentence. Um, so here is quite a complicated formula, so you could just copy this. Um, and this basically calculates the number of words in a sentence. So here you can say there is six in the sentence, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the formula calculates it here for you. So these are just really some basic formulas and some information that will help you when creating your Google Ads expanded text ads. I hope that helped guys and um, continue learning.